But I'm here to plant the flag for the C.J. Stroud MVP mm-hmm. case today. Talk to um, me. For the, all the same reasons that we listed him for runaway favorite for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Um, but really, like, stat-wise, it's there. Like, we just talked about the, the touchdown interception ratio is crazy. He's second in passing yards. We just talked about the weapons that he has coming into the season. Nobody would have put in them like I don't even know if you'd have put them top 10, maybe not even top 16, like cores, receiving cores across the league. Mm-hmm. Um, and so coming in with that, their O-line still has is not performing at a high level. Their running game has been pretty stale the entire season. Damian Pierce has not really been able to ever get it going. Devin Singletary has looked a little bit better the last couple of weeks um, since Damian Pierce has been out. But even still, I would not say that's something that they can really lean on. So, so much of that pressure is being put on CJ Stroud to make this offense go. And it's going like at a high rate. And we talked about it earlier. The, the poise, the decision-making is at such a high level. He's not making those rookie mistakes that you would expect. He's not making the general mistakes that you would expect a lot of even veteran quarterbacks to make. Um, He's got this team as of right now today, November 13th, they would be in the wild card game of the AFC playoffs. Um, And they've got some marquee wins under their belt. Like like you just said, they went in down through or tie game, right with Cincinnati with a minute 30 left and went down and scored a game winning field goal. And Cincinnati was one of the hottest, might've been the hottest team in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Um, Like Joe Burrow has, slung shot himself into MVP conversations because of his play. Um, so for him to go toe to toe with Joe Burrow in that game, and it was a great back and forth game. Like that just shows the level of poise and production that he has and just the comfortability that he has. And what I think is fair to say is not the best of situations. It's not like he just walked into a, a tailor-made offense with this great old line, or, you know, he's got guys around him that are like, you know, household names, like, if you would have told somebody before the season that this is what the Texans team was doing with Nico Collins, Tank Dell, Noah Brown, and Dolan Schultz, they would be like, ah, I don't believe you. And he's making it happen, bro. And it's hard to say that there are too many quarterbacks strictly right now, this season, playing better than him. And because of all of that, that's, again, placed on him, and he's producing, and he's got them above 500. And in a playoff spot, and in you know, let me pull up their upcoming schedule actually, because I want to see what they they've got coming up. Um, because they're not in the toughest division, like they've got Cardinals, Jags, Broncos, Jets, they got some winnable games, Titans, Damn. Browns, Titans again, and then they end the season with the Colts. They're this could end game. up being a very good regular season record for them. They mess around. It could like, bro. This could maybe be one or two losses max rest of the season. Mm-hmm. Like you could be looking at what was that eleven I, and eleven and six. I mean, they got so, if they would have to. Like the, the def- Jags, the Jags is tough. Jets the Car- defense is tough. E- even the Cardinals tough. with with Kyler back is going to be a little bit too. difficult now. I say that, yeah, like you said, just defense. I don't know. Aaron Rodgers might be back. You know, never know. Yeah, <laughs> bro, I'm, I stashed him in fantasy. If somebody dropped him, so, hey, you, hey, yeah, I'll you never know. <laughs> I'll be back though, but um, that, and I, I mean, I see what you mean though. They could they could string together some wins, right? But look, it, for, forget the predictions aside, bro. Sitting right now, five and four, with what he's done this year, I think he has a very fair argument to be the MVP. Like. You could that that just constructed the whole argument. Like I, I'm not hearing that he is at least not worthy of being in the discussion. If you don't have him as your MVP, I'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh, what are we talking about here? Like, like you said, there's no clear cut person for the award. Um, but I think he has a very real and legitimate argument to be in that discussion and is worthy of winning the award because of that. Yeah, 100 percent I I just think the main thing with me is one, like the way he's playing as a rookie is like like you you said it before like he's playing and the decisions he's making is better than a lot of veterans that's been in the league for a minute and the like the clutch factor like the 
the the Bucks game with barely any time on the clock, going down and having a game winning drive, then against Joe Burrow, against like you said, the hottest team in the league, like going down and getting a game winning field, like game winning drive to get a field goal, like but that takes like poise, it takes confidence, that takes just pure talent, and like you just got it, bro. Like they, I, there's no, there's not ten quarterbacks I'd rather have than, than CJ Stroud. I can't name ten quarterbacks I'd rather have right now. Right now, you could probably cut that down to like five. There, are, like, like honestly, and especially if you add if you add in like the he is gonna get better part of it. Like, right? There's not, man. There's just no. It's not a lot of quarterbacks I take over. There's probably a right. handful I take over him right now. So absolutely, completely understand. But we're like. Good pick, and I think people need to like start taking that pick more serious. So I think a lot of people say it like, well, "Yeah, he's playing great, like MVP." Like, no, like legitimately, right? He's like actually in the conversation, not, not like a ha ha. Like, no, he's legit in the conversation. After yeah. the Bucks game, I think a lot of people were like, "All right, we're like week seven, week eight here." Like, the touchdown to interception ratio is still crazy. The yards are like top of the league. They're winning games. Like, yeah, you know, he can be in the conversation after the Bengals game. Like, Vegas is aware. Yeah, he's facts. he's bumped up to I think he's seventh now in MVP odds. Too low. Only people in front of him is Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Tua, Jalen, and Mahomes. There's no reason for Tua not Tua. There's no reason for Joe Burrow to be ahead of him. There's no, there is a reason for Patrick Mahomes because he's Mahomes and their record is a lot better. But Burrow, don't they have the same record? They have the same record. Joe Burrow played like. Three, two good games, like three good games because he was hurt, hurt to start the season. He just beat him. There's zero reason why bro should be ahead if it's not name value alone. Like, bro, I think he has I, – I wouldn't put Mahomes' case above his. Only reason – And, like, I it's not – that's not saying that – right, that's not saying that Mahomes is – like, I'm not, not saying he's better than Mahomes. Not even close. I'm just – Right. If we're talking strictly off of what they're putting in terms of an MVP case together, like – Chiefs defense has been doing a lot of heavy lifting for that team this year. Mm -hmm. And like some of that could just be game plan. Like teams are just not trying to let when we saw it, they're out here triple teaming Kelsey. They don't have a ton of other weapons on the outside. Like Mahomes needs someone to throw to I'm not saying it's his fault, but like the that's MVP case is right. The MVP. Right. And they're what? Seven and two. Yeah. Fine. Like that's winning football. And I, I, I think Mahomes would agree. Like he wouldn't care. He would rather have the team success than the individual success of mm -hmm. winning the MVP award. So talking about the individual case, I think Stroud has a better case than Mahomes right now. Yeah. So it's a uh, definitely a real case. 